Well, first thing first, if we're gonna deal with this onslaught, we gotta get out of Wolfie for him. The people will not rest until Nosgoth is purged of your kind. I had been betrayed. In my haste, I had not realized it before. That sigil on his forehead, the Oracle of Nosgoth, was in fact the time streamer Mobius, and I had followed his advice. How much of my quest was of his design? Willendorf? The Battle of the Last Stand? William the Just? Was this the trap he had fashioned for me? So of course the answer to all that is yes, this is the trap he fashioned we for you. We will send you back to the grave whence you came, vampire. Mobius is not a big fan of vampires. This will actually be explained a lot more later. I have seen the future, Ken. You are not in it. The funny thing is he's actually not lying, but there's uh, more to that later. This is the first part of the battle where it actually becomes a boss fight. Let us call upon the puppets from the past! And the puppets from the past he calls on are the Seraphan Warriors. They'll be here in a split second. For some reason you have to get close to them for things to trigger. These guys are really easy. There's three of them, but repel on the fire sword equals you win. And you have to get close to him again to get him to disappear. That happens in every single one of these if you haven't already noticed. Now, I've, I've never been able to actually hit him with one of these bolts uh, to see if it does any damage. Probably does not. Mostly because he doesn't take damage. From the present! The magical mans he summons from the present once he actually does it. Don't know why this is so delayed. Do it! Come on, stop wasting my stuff. There we go. Of course, this is some sort of vampire hunter, I guess. Looks like a vampire hunter. Anyways, he's actually really physically tough, but he's not a tough fight, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, lots of hits. Lots and lots and lots and lots of hits. But it's really easy, because he doesn't actually have any strategy at all. As long as you have a repel on, you win. But of course, we're not quite done yet. And from ages yet to come. So here we seem to be fighting a quote unquote future version of ourself. Notice he's equipped with the axes and casting spells. Yeah, he's not really Kane. This this did not happen. Kane would not fight himself. Especially knowing what happens to future Kane, it's just not possible. This is an illusion. So the trick to beating illusion Kane is that basically he will teleport around you whenever you face him. What you need to do is just stand there and let him try to hit you, and then just swing back at him. And this repeats over and over. He actually takes a lot of damage. Just get him into a corner and beat the shit out of him. That's what he gets for not being the real you. Now with all these repel-oriented fights, pretty much if you run out of anything, grab a energy bank and keep going. It's really a patience fight. Uh, it's just not that fun. Ironic. By going back in time and altering the past, you turn William the Just into the nemesis. I, you have seen my plan, vampire, as I've seen your destiny. The future says you die. But I am dead. As are you.
Down here is his talisman. I knew that Mobius's hourglass was the focus of his time streaming magic. Farewell, sorcerer. The sands of time have ceased to flow for you. Well done, Cain. <laughs> Mobius did so love playing the trickster's part. His guise as the oracle served his schemes well. Pity with all his plots he failed to plan for you. Come to me, my undead son. Make haste to the pillars. The stage is set for the grand finale. You will have your vengeance. Well, I say we do it. Only two members of the circle left. And of course, since this is the last time we're actually going to go back to the pillars, I figure we might as well enjoy the CG one more time. And I'm not going to cut it out, because... It reminds me of a better, quote-unquote, question mark, smiley face, sad face, winky face, time. Huh? The high pitch there. Don't know why. Okay, time to kill some bitches. You betrayed us, Mortanius. You had Cain killed and turned him into a monster. You set him upon us. It had to be. Napraptor's insanity poisoned all of our minds. The circle had failed in its sworn duties. It had to be destroyed. Failed our duties? Idiot! The circle exists for us. We don't exist for it. Our powers will save or damn Nosgoth at our whim. Stand with us, Mortanius, or die. Then I shall die. If the circle is to be destroyed, you have to die as well, Necromancer. I admire your cunning, but you will not escape your fate. Nay, I will embrace it, but my death will leave one more to take Princeling. Finish me! 